Good morning, my kings and queens, and it's King ALT Kyle here, of course. And today is another beautiful day. It's actually really, really hot in my room. And since I just got out of the shower, I'm starting to sweat. It's about 12 degrees warmer than yesterday. So it's going to be almost 60 today. Um. And the sun is definitely out. My room is really bright right now. Um, I don't think there's a cloud in the sky right now. So it's fantastic. Um, so I'm probably gonna... It's probably gonna be one of those days where I want to spend the most time outside. So I'm gonna do that. I have to put in a new mailbox today because currently our mailbox is staying on at the post by duct tape. And it looks like we're a bunch of rednecks. So... You need to fix that. Um, so I gotta do that. That's not gonna take very long. But this morning, in order for me to be outside for a long period of time, I need to get some stuff done. So this morning is gonna kind of the morning today, or I don't know how to say that. Whatever. It's gonna be kind of boring. So the camera probably won't turn on for a couple of hours here. Um, just so I have a chance to get some of my chores and my homework, mainly homework, done. Um, and yeah, I'm stuck and spend the entire day outside. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say for today. Or, for today. For right now. Yeah, let me just end the video after a minute and a half. Um, that's all I have to say right now. I will turn the camera on if anything interesting happens, and, uh, let me go get the boring stuff. There are people in the woods, I can see them from here. I don't think my day can get any much better than this unless they're destroying my place. Let me go kick. Let me go figure it out. Hang the camera away. But it's a beautiful day out here. I don't have to too long. And if my place is being destroyed, I'm about to get into a fight. Looks like there's just someone uh, uh, walking their dogs through the woods. I find that cool. Uh, they stood out because they're wearing purple. I feel weird, my neighbor's outside, I'm sitting here talking to a camera with no one else around. She went way up there, so. By way up there, I mean into my neighborhood, out of the woods. So. Jeez, I feel it. So yeah, like I was saying earlier before I rushed out here thinking my place was being destroyed. Um, oh my gosh, I'm a big bird. Um, I can't be out here for as long as I would like because my mom is sick and my dad needs help going to the store because there's a lot of stuff to get and I'm going to take this please and thank you geez something fell over here look at this and I've got this in my hand oh god the sun no I went up to the bark um see so yeah, I gotta help him with that so I gotta be back by four and it's almost two o'clock now so need to uh, figure out what I want to get done and uh, get it done. Maybe cleaning up this place, because this place is a mess. Thanks to the flooding and all, this place is a freaking mess. But, uh, yeah. stream looks really nice today, too, actually. There's ri there is not a cloud in the sky. It is beautiful out here today. I'm gonna find Look at that. Oh, that's a perfect picture. I'm gonna have to take the picture now. So, yeah. Um, turn the camera on a little later. So, I found this tiny piece, piece of bamboo. You guys see this inside of it? It's like feathery paper type stuff. That is probably some of the best fire starting stuff in the entire world. It's the inside of bamboo. It's all dried out like this. It's wonderful. I was actually cutting this because I'm going to build a water filtration system at some point. And bamboo will allow paths for water because they're other shapes and they're I mean they're not easy to cut but they're not incredibly difficult to cut so uh, I'm gonna continue with this and hopefully I find a little bit more of this stuff add to the pile of fire starting I forgot to tell you guys I found a piece of paper yesterday it's out here and it's dry and it's good so I'm gonna use that too so uh, wish me luck with this bamboo it didn't really work that well but um, I was kinda thinking I've had these three really 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 big sticks for a while right 
Obviously, I can't put them on there. They're not going to be useful. They're just going to kind of sit. These are like, I'm going to start a new build type of sticks, right? And then, looked at my place, how big it is. Thought that I could never build something that big, right? And look at these two trees over here. So what if I take these big sticks, right? I take one, and I put it leaning up against the strand the back, take the other, put it back here. This mud is pretty soft now. Back here, and then just go from that and build something. Take the other big stick, plant it out here somewhere off of this tree. I can just have this massive freaking building. Have a wide entrance. Have a roof on it, maybe. You know, up in this area. You know, looking down at me like that. So that would be the height of the roof. So that anyone basically can walk in there. You know, if you guys can see me tall. So. What if I did that? I got stabbed, by the way. My hand hurts. Um, you know, what if I did that? I haven't built anything for a long time. So what if I finally change that? I got two little trees here that I could use. I wouldn't even have to kill them. I mean, I would bend them, most likely, but I wouldn't have to kill them, and then they just grow in that shape. It should be fine. I'd have to go hunt for resources, and while I'm hunting for resources, I could hunt for more stuff for this. I mean, I do have a lot of holes in this thing. I really do. But that's not really worrying me. The structure is solid. So, and now with all the, the leaves and stuff, sorry, there's a glare. With all the leaves and stuff piled up like this, it actually does help keep the sticks in place because this stuff is not the easiest to move. Especially when it dries, it really is not the easiest to move. So, it's the only good thing about flooding is if you have something already built that's already strong tends to help, and plus I can take more piles of these leaves that are everywhere and uh, you know, build it up. I know there's, oh no, I did take the stuff from over there from old buildings, um, see what I can do. So yeah, that's my plan for right now. I'm gonna go near the construction site, but not all the way down there, just to see if, now that it's warmer, if there's anything that I want down there. Anything I want to bring back from the construction site, maybe? Um, I don't think there is. I might bring back those two boards, though. Because I know they're down, they're down there. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, maybe clean up a little bit. So, yeah, I'll show you guys progress in a little bit. So, I've got a couple things gathered up here. These are all those six that I was gathering the bark off of. It's actually in there. It's not entirely dead yet, so it's not peeling off in those tiny thin strips. I need to do that for it to be as good as I want it to be starting fires, but I've got a couple things gathered up here. Fill in some more gaps on this. And I took those three big sticks and started the outline. I don't have enough to finish the outline. There's one there, braced by all those rocks. It's one of those sticks I wanted to turn. So there's the main support. Got the main support for this, for the outside, that stick which is connected to the main support for this is that stick. And you can see how it crosses up there. It's actually, I don't want to gloat and compliment myself, but it was actually pretty smart that after I realized that this stick could not go and lean alone, that I stuck it in there because it was a pretty good, pretty good idea. I didn't realize the stick had a little Y there. But anyway, the plan for this is that I'm going to go out here, out beyond this tree, so I'm going to be able to walk through here. And then I'm going to put another stick from that tree down, which means the other support. So basically going to be three sticks on each tree. And then I'm going to come out, unless I decide that I want to incorporate that tree, which, I mean, this place is already going to be big enough. But you know me, go big or go home, so I might just have to do that. My only problem with this is you can see the water lines that go through here, and I don't want it to get destroyed if it rains again. But yeah, 
So there's going to be stick that goes here, stick that goes on the side there, and stick that goes behind it. And uh, there are already those three there. And if I decide to incorporate that, then there won't be a stick that goes on this side. There will just be two sticks on that tree and three sticks on that. No, two sticks on that tree because there's no way it dips way too low over there for me to do anything about that. So it already dips enough in here and it's already pretty uneven. I mean, you can see the slope. Obviously, water runs downhill. But uh, this should be fun. I need to go get some very, very, very large sticks. I don't know exactly where I'm going to find them. And they need to be strong and not dying. So that's going to be the hard part. And this dog keeps barking at me. Shut up. Don't know what you're barking at. Just shut up. But, uh, yeah. Now it's about time for me to head out that way. And uh, see what all I can find. Hopefully I can find some more stuff. I've been finding a lot of firewood, too. Just kind of... I'm not looking for firewood, guys. I promise. Um... But just kind of look for stuff that I think might be good. And if it's good, it's a good stick. It's good for fire. I can't, I can't, I can't just you know leave it there. It doesn't work that way. See, so yeah, I'm gonna go look around. I think I'm gonna go look a little back there too, up on top of that hill. So uh, wish me luck in finding what I need. So I built a supply pile a while ago. I haven't touched it for a really long time, and there's still some stuff. Out in there, and I might be able to start breaking this down. I mean, this stuff is rotten, and quite a bit of this is too. But the thing about this jar is it's thicker around. I'm being watched by a little kid. I don't like this. Um, I don't like being watched. Um, so this one definitely will work if it's not too rotten. It doesn't look to be too rotten, so it should work. I'm gonna take this stick back and probably come back for the majority of what's left here. So I got distracted like normal, and I never realized there was just a bunch of concrete over here. This might be really, really, really helpful for me. I'll come back for that later. This water looks so nice today. I'm sorry, I'm in a good mood. When I'm in a good mood, I find stuff, everything to be all nice and whatever. It does, though. Everything looks really, really nice today. It's a really nice day, don't judge me. And they're footprints. I think they're fox. I want to say they're fox. That's about the size of a fox, right? Yeah, I want to say they're fox. Hmm. I oh, don't know. Whatever. So this stick is really, really freaking heavy. I just kind of threw it. Not really threw it. I stood it up and just kind of let it fall the other way. So there's one, one down, and a couple of its pieces that it left behind that broke off are actually really, really good too, so take those with me as well. I don't know how you guys can see that because of the sun, but I've been, hey look my shadow, I've basically made a supply pile down there, right on top of that stick that I threw across, because there was actually quite a bit of good stuff out there, and every time I speak, that dog goes off. Anyway, I'm going to keep traveling downstream and see what else I can find. I don't think you guys understand how much work I'm putting into this. No joke, it took me like a straight. I don't even know how long did that stick up. It's so freaking heavy. See how big this thing's gonna have to be now? You see that? <laughs> I'm gonna have to find a way to get a stick to attack from there to there. Oh jeez, the sun. Out of there. It's all the way back here. All the way there. All the way across. You see how wide this gap is? Like, I have no idea how I'm going to go about building this thing. I really don't. Because it's so freaking big. That's the problem with making very, very, very large things. Is how do you connect that stick with this one? Normally I'd have like one stick that goes from like this side over to there. Or I'd have like a peg in the middle to do the X across with. And I mean I guess I could use that tree. But that would go farther back. I have to make an X with that tree to there. Back to here. But there's nothing to lean the X against. 
I have no idea how I'm going to go about building this. I want to do it TP style, but I don't know how well that's going to work. Because I would need a crap ton more of sticks this size. And believe me when I say I really don't want to spend another 35 minutes on one stick. The thing has got to be two, three hundred pounds right there. And like, no joke. I'm not the biggest guy in the world, yeah, but I'm not lying when I'm saying that stick is two, three hundred pounds. That one's at least 150, and I'd lift that any day over this thing. It was freaking terrible. But I did get a lot of the supplies back over here. Jeez, they like shanked me up and whatnot. Jeez. My legs too, just freaking cuts and crap everywhere. My arms there. Like seriously, it was freaking hard work. But anyway, I'm gonna go get the rest of the stuff from over there. I've got a little over a half hour left out here before I gotta go. So see, I did get a lot of stuff here. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna take a break after I get the rest of the stuff over here and, uh, try to figure out some kind of plan for that because it's so freaking big. I might have to rethink this project, which would suck because I just spent 35 minutes getting that stick up where it was, but, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not gonna make anything, you know, I'm not gonna decide anything right now. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So I've just kind of been sitting around because I'm tired. I really am. After that stick, the or branch or full-on tree, Jesus, was that freaking heavy. Um, all of my muscles are kind of crying at this point. Everything, my upper body. It's how I get my workouts done, guys. It really is. Um, but I did get another stick up. And I think what I'm going to do, honestly, is because I'm standing like right in the middle of this. You guys can't see anything, but there's that stick and that one that I just put. So I've got three on each now. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put another stick from there coming down to about there-ish. But still really far out from the tree and same from this side. Have it come down in like that hole right there. Um... And then I'll do that and do it TP style on the outsides, right? And then I'll have on these two, the, the two branches that come down, I'll put two nails, um, one on each, and I'll stack sticks one on top of another to kind of give it a little bit of a roof effect. So it'll be covered in the front here. Um, and then back here, back here is going to be the more difficult part. I'm still going to do TP style. Uh, to a certain extent because this stick is so much farther out than that one is um, It's just a lot bigger um, So I'm still trying to try to do TP style out here, but then I'm gonna have to bring it all the way back to that little tree Use that little tree as a peg So I can make an X from there to there and then another X from there to there I also have that tree for support will help in when I start weaving stuff in um, but yeah I'm gonna have to get more main support sticks so I've got six right now I'm gonna have to get a heck of a lot more have to at least the two in the front that's so that's two I'm gonna say one in the middle three four five six probably seven because two for over there if I would still want to do a TP stop and then I'm gonna need to get Four more. So what is that? Eleven to do the X and the other X. Triangles are the strongest shape, so I use X's. You know, if you look at it, there are four triangles. So yeah, I'm gonna actually head inside. I gotta go to the store, help my dad out. I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the night besides homework, but I don't want to end the vlog if something else interesting is going to happen, so I'm going to do that, and uh, yeah, hopefully my chest can stop hurting, because right now it's hard to hold up the camera, so heavy that thing was. If anyone has tried to build something that big, you probably understand, but uh, yeah, I'm going to go outside, 
And I'll talk to you guys a little later. doing playing soccer over there what are they doing Lacey just playing soccer they're just playing soccer see the sun reflects off your fur and makes you look even prettier it does it does what are you sniffing my knife for they're so weird so are those two hey Lacey hello hello <laughs> A little bit more after I got out of the wood, after I came in from the woods. Um, just, you know, just a little bit here and there, but I could not do that. Sorry, I really plan was planning on doing it, I just didn't. Um, my dad's wrist has been bothering him, so, for the last couple of days. So, like, really, really bothering him, and today it's split up, like, I don't know what. It was, like, three times as big as his other wrist, and it was on his right hand, and he happened to be right-handed, so... I had to go help him fill out the paperwork, so I had to go to the ER with him to fill out paperwork and stuff, and it took like three or four hours there, so. We got home like five minutes ago, it's 10.45, and um, we left at around 7.30, so it, it took a while. Um, granted, it was 30 minutes away, so there was an hour of driving, but still. We were there for a couple of hours. Um, so I'm exhausted, and I've got school tomorrow. Um, so yeah, sorry I didn't vlog anymore, guys. But uh, we still got outside and did something exciting. Um, since I'm not going to be able to go to lacrosse tryouts, I don't know if I explained that to you guys, but my hips started acting up again the other night after the six miles that I did last Wednesday. And it kind of just gave out on me. Um, it doesn't hurt right now, but... I have an appointment with a sports, um, sports something doctor, it's an interesting title, but whatever, um, on Friday, so I cannot go to tryouts all day this week, but my coach knows me, because I played last year, and, uh, he knows my skill level, whatever, so he's gonna let me try out in the first week of practice, and the only reason I'm really gonna get cut is if I just suck, but I don't, so I'm not worried about it. But, um, no, I just kind of want to go to trials, but I can't. So, anyway, that was going into is, it's going to be warm a couple of days this week, until the, until the end of the week. Towards the end of the week, you know, uh, Thursday and Friday aren't going to be warm. Uh, Wednesday's going to be okay, but tomorrow and Tuesday are going to be okay. So I'm going to try to get out there and try to get some work done on that new building. I just have no idea what the heck I'm going to do with it and or call it. Um... But you will be updated on that next weekend. Um, so hope you guys had a good night and better night than I did. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys had a good weekend. You guys are feeling good because happiness is the key to life. Yeah. Preach. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna stop now. I will talk to you guys next weekend. Um, and remember, live life to the fullest. Talk to y'all next weekend.